My name is Alejandro. Everybody call me Alejo. And my nickname is Biscacha. Yeah, and mountains is a matter of, of knowing yourself, knowing your limits, respecting nature, loving the place, and, and sharing with people. That for me is the, the nicest thing, you know, like to have the chance to, to share with people and to share something that is very special, you know. We are on a dangerous environment that makes us bond together and has different mechanics, you know, rather than typical people in the city. I've known Alejo since 2016. Uh, I've climbed with him in the Andes of Peru, climbed the, the volcanoes in Ecuador, uh, and we're planning a trip together to Aconcagua. So he's a great guy, hard worker. He's extremely knowledgeable. He's an IFMGA certified guide, so he's at the top of the list of what you can learn. Alejo is a great mountain guide. I've climbed with him in Peru and Ecuador. I've been in multiple situations where I didn't think I or our group could go any further, but Alejo knew that we could push it a little bit more and he got us to our goal. And then I've been in other situations with Alejo where we thought we could go further, but Alejo knew it wasn't safe. One instance of this that comes to mind, we were climbing on Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Our team was feeling strong. We thought that the conditions were okay to continue, but Alejo stopped us pretty close to the stomach and said, let's do a snow test here and see if conditions are safe. Making the test right here is not the best because this is accumulation zone. We do this test like down there on the traverse of the crevasse. Where is the crevasse and the slab on the side that can go and take us down. What we are having is a wind slab. <laughs> that now is cracked. This is called reactivity. It's huge. And under is very soft snow. This is snow that is, is just like powder. So it's not gonna, it's gonna make the slab just go down. I didn't realize this was as big. Before it was like this thick. Here is it's huge. So it's, it's concerning. So, we are very sorry, we want to play safe. We did some, some risk, we took some risk to come up here, which is fun, it's great. But for you to know that this is not safe conditions, it looks safe, it looks nice because of the night, snow is good, but we should realize and we should learn about this. The avalanche risk was too high and Alejo demonstrated not only to our group, but to other groups on the mountain that day, that if people continued, they ran a high risk of getting caught in a bad situation. I know that Alejo strikes that balance as a guide very well between helping his clients achieve their goals and first and foremost, looking after the safety of his clients. Another great attribute of Alejo is that he's a really flexible and adaptable person. And so um, for each of us, we have different things that motivate us when times get tough. Um, we get tired hiking up the mountain all day long. We're in extreme conditions, it's really cold, or we're at high altitude. And Alejo um, has this flexibility to really, he's able to motivate different people who need different types of motivations under these really hard conditions. So on our first trip to Cotopaxi, um, down in Ecuador, uh, just it was unfortunate based on the weather conditions. Um, we weren't able to summit. Um, but the second time, we were really blessed with just perfect weather. Like really, the weather held out. We just kept on trucking upwards. And then after we'd been hiking for about six hours, we stopped, we rest for a minute, and Alejo says, so it's gonna be really steep here for a little bit. And then it's gonna get a little bit easier. And then it's gonna get really, really, really steep. Can you do it? And so Logan and I were super excited. We're like, yeah, we got it. And he wasn't kidding when he said it was super steep. I mean, like, I, it really blew my mind about how steep it was. <laughs> it was walking so slow. We just kept trucking up, trucking up the mountain. And then we get to the top and there's just, it's phenomenal. There, it's mind blowing. There's this crater, there's this volcano and there's smoke and steam coming out of it. But it's a beautiful day. It's sunny. You can see all the summits all around. You can see Chimborazo. Um, and so we're up at 19,347 feet. We hung out for an hour. I mean, we took pictures, we enjoyed it. And what was really awesome about this experience is that Alejo said that he'd never spent this much time on the summit of a mountain before.
And so it was really fulfilling after, especially the year before where we weren't able to summit, to just be able to work really hard to get to the top, but then just bask in the beauty of this um, really amazing volcano. So in that moment when we got to the top, uh, I was just really thankful that Alejo was our guide. I felt like I probably would not have gotten to the top if um, he hadn't been there. He was motivating. He helped me down at the bottom where I just wasn't sure how I felt. Um, and it was just a really happy moment to be with someone who was enjoying every moment. He's climbed this mountain so many times, but to see the pure joy on his face um, was just as good for, for me to see uh, as someone who was their first time on the top of that mountain. <laughs>